Here we go, season two. Heroes. My hero, I've academia. Since I was just a little kid, and I dream of being one in the future. You've already become one, Deku. <laughs> Here's a little recap for uh, those who, for some reason, did not watch season one. This was his huge famous battle, right? But I believe he said he had a, a worse battle, the one that injured him. Maybe that battle is connected to Hans McGee, whose name I still haven't learned. <laughs> because I wanted to be just like him when I grew up. Boy, did Deku get lucky. <laughs> the turn of events. What just happened? Eighty percent of the population of this world has some kind of uncanny superpower. Some people have eight hundred of them. With the explosion of crime and disasters brought about- What are works, villains? That's a deep question. They're the ones who put their lives on the line. Who defend us from And butts. <laughs> the greatest among them. All Might. The symbol of peace and justice. All Might Gum. His title of number one All Might Kari. That sounds delicious, I'm not gonna lie. He always saves people with a huge smile on his face. Yeah, but the more you know, the more painful that smile becomes. It's hiding a deep sadness. Oh, yeah, I'm Izuku Midoriya. We know who you are. <laughs> right now, I'm Deku. working hard every day, putting my all into trying to become a hero. <laughs> I just realized this is the wrong episode. This is whole episode is recap. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. A life-changing event is about to take place. Oh? The UA Sports Festival. Is this going to be like the, the tournament? What is justice? <laughs> what does it mean to be a hero? Yes. I'm still figuring all that out. We all are. You just have to keep moving forward. You have to go beyond. What? Ultra! <laughs> Even the the ending of the recap episode is kind of touching. I feel like the theme of justice is going to come up more in either this season or, or later seasons. There have been some hints that the heroes can sort of do whatever they want and that maybe they're aligned with the government. It's one of those things, right? Like, just because something is legal or just because it's approved does not make it moral to make it right. And as Erwin would say, who gets to decide? And with that very long and somewhat unnecessary intro out of the way, let's begin season two. <laughs> the first incident was in Chinchin Season two, City, here we go. <laughs> an extraordinary child was born who radiated light. No one knew what was causing these quirks. I wonder if we'll ever get that information. With about 80% of the population possessing some uncanny ability. I wonder if uh, the 20% aren't quirkless, but just haven't discovered their quirks. There's probably some amount of that 20% at least that is just undiscovered quirk. Because it's it's all sorts of weird things, so who knows? You know, it could be something like, I don't know, your cells are big. You digest bread really well. Like, I don't know, you know, it could be anything. There are things that could be unique to an individual that would just totally go unnoticed. It was, it was an, an age, age of heroes. heroes. Yes, <laughs> I've seen this today. <laughs> if you were gonna do a recap, why do a whole recap episode? He's the coolest in the whole world! Come on, I wanna watch season two. <laughs> I want to see people go plus ultra. And so, I started to give up on my dream. Is this a, a future preview? And though I've had setbacks, I keep pushing forward. His outfit looks cool. Cooler. How I become the world's greatest hero. Here we go, second opening. It means so much more to me now this time around because I actually have some connections to these characters. It's funny that like season one ended up being like one week or less of school. It's conceivable that season two could be just the second week of their life at UA. Yes, lots of stretching. They're really keeping uh, Birdman under wraps. <laughs> They're like saving him for something awesome, I'm, I'm assuming. Now that I've seen the first season, it doesn't seem like there are as many characters as I first feared. It feels manageable now, although I'm sure they're going to keep introducing them. They introduced new characters like in the last couple episodes with the detective and the cute, cute cat police. The criminal forces call themselves the League of Villains. Best name. Best name. I hope this letter finds you well, sir. Even though he was weak and had no quirk of his own, he showed incredible bravery. At least he didn't say plain. I feel like watching this young man spring into action taught me something that day. And it reminded me of the virtues I must embody in order to call myself a pro. A hero. You know, this may seem obvious, but the more I think about All Might, the more I love him. Like, his challenge is just so difficult. I don't really know how to explain this. It's gonna sound really weird, but I feel like you can go down a road. A road where you really, really look at people. Where you realize just how good they are and how much people do. There's a feeling I get sometimes of just this overwhelming gratitude for others. You know, for just how amazing people are. It's sort of easy 
not to see that in day-to-day life, you know, but I think you have those moments where you just, you know, it feels like for the first time you're seeing someone, all the ways that you may have been taking them for granted, you know, it's no, it's no small thing to be good. It's actually kind of difficult. And there's a beauty to that, but there's also something kind of crushing about that. Like there's a weight because when you really see the good of others, it's like, it just makes you want to do more. There's a way that that can be good and there's a way that that can be unhealthy at the same time. I feel like I'm rambling, but I feel like All Might just lives there. Like he just lives in that place where he really sees the beauty in life and others. And so he's able to have the maximum amount of responsibility for his, his own actions. I mean, plus ultra the maximum amount of responsibility for his actions. And the pain of that is that it's destroying him, but he doesn't really let people see him as much. He sort of hides the pain. And so there's this poisonous element to his personality that is just slowly eating at him from the inside. His weakness, I think, has a a large symbolic element to it as well, where there's something unhealthy that won't allow him to sustain this this facade forever. The reason I think this often goes wrong or can be a negative is because we can really see the beauty in others and what they do, but it's harder to see that in what we do or or what we are for some reason. And so we sort of sacrifice ourselves as penance, you know? And I think one of the gifts that Deku gave All Might in this moment, in this scene, Deku was a source of strength for the person who's always the perpetual source of strength. So even though it didn't resolve the issue and this will inevitably come up again, it recalibrated him enough to keep going. And I think that is part of why All Might fixated so heavily on Deku. This ability I have has been passed on from person to person, cultivated and made stronger. And come to think of it, that toxic element is also passed on to Deku. Deku's getting the strength, but he's also getting the weakness. Even though he sometimes struggle with his newfound abilities. Sometimes. They may come when I must trouble you, my old teacher, for advice. All my teachers still around. So, Toshinori has found a worthy successor. Toshinori. That's the idea, Ochako. We've searched our records for men in their 20s or 30s who are registered as having some sort of disintegration quirk. But so far, we've come up empty. So they're not citizens or they're using aliases. Yeah, I mean, you'd sort of expect that, right? Like, people like that are not going to be so concerned with filing the necessary paperwork. This I guy. Shot their ringleader, but once he heals, yeah, I you did. probably try pulling something like this again. What a pain. The real pain is in Shigaraki's knee. And he talked about Nomu like he was some kind of a pet. It seemed like he'd never been told no before, like he thought things would go his way no matter what. A spoiled child. He has the personality of a spoiled little brat. Yeah. <laughs> a man child. Hmm. Criminals are starting to feel more pressure now that the world is brimming with heroes. That could be why they were so quick to back such a simple minded villainy. I feel like they're underestimating him. They're underestimating Shigaraki. And like our students, I suppose it's possible someone is guiding him, trying to nurture his malice and villainy. Very observant, Mr. Principal. Think about what that could mean. You may already know them. School was That's closed my guess. the day after the League of Villains attacked the USJ. I think they wanted us to have a little break. Finally, they made them go back to class though that afternoon. This is crazy. I can't believe this. <laughs> How many times have we watched this video? <laughs> I'm still so far away from becoming a real hero. I mean, you're a lot closer now than you've ever been. No, no. Weren't for All Might and our teachers. We never would have stood a chance against those villains. Well, duh, you're like five years old. <laughs> the compulsive working out I have to continues. make All Might's power my own. I have to embody one for all and master every aspect of it until it's second nature for me. Yeah, I mean, that's good if you use it as motivation. But to belittle yourself like that, it doesn't doesn't help. I'll make him proud. Oh, no, I'm starting to, like, develop this dark take. <laughs> I wish I hadn't had that thought. Now I'm seeing it differently, like, I don't know how intentional this is. I'm, I'm guessing it's aware, just, you know, based on the show so far. They're pretty self-aware. All Might is wrong. I mean, he is the best ever, you know, but there's just that one thorn, and it created an infection that will end him. That is a physical reality and a symbolic reality, and Deku is now geared towards that exact path unless something changes in this procedure. In that way, there's a Aang-like potential in him, I guess, in a sense, because legacy is really important, right? Legacy is a great place to start, and you want to honor the traditions and carry the torch and continue the mission for helping people, but you also want to improve on it and you want to make it your own, which is Aang's story. Aang inherited the responsibilities of the Avatar, but he carried them out in a way that was very Aang. Deku will inherit and maybe even improve on the physicality of All Might because that's part of how the system works, right? But he can also improve the very nature of of his heroism in a way that's specific to Deku. Lunchtime. Your food's getting cold. I'll be right there. Thanks, Mom. A man needs his food. Hope it's full of protein. It is. Oh my god, that looks so good. 
Why does animated food look so good? <laughs> How do they do that? They put so much focus into that one frame. That was the whole animation budget right there. Though I bet nobody noticed me hanging out in the background. They noticed that those floating gloves probably. Who knows what would have happened to us if the teachers hadn't shown up. Why'd you say that? I'm gonna pay myself just thinking about it. Well, you have a diaper, so it's not much to worry about there. Attention! <laughs> the, way, the way he walks always gets me. He did will always sweat it. Mr. Aizawa is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. Oh yeah, substitute day? Morning class. Oh, he doesn't take a day off. What? No, no, no. What a pro. Yeah. My well-being is irrelevant. What's more important is that Speaking your fight of isn't self-sacrifice. Our fight? Don't tell me. He's talking about class. The UA Sports Festival. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Right, right. I saw the preview for this. So I guess the sports day is like the equivalent of uh what do they call it? The tournament in Dragon Ball. The name escapes me right now. Is it really such a good idea to hold the sports festival so soon after the villain snuck inside? The best thing we can do is continue our normal lives. Apparently the administration thinks this is a good way to show that the threat has been handled exactly. our school is safer than ever. Yeah, I also feel like attacking the dome with a couple teachers is one thing. Attacking the school, I mean, you gotta have a death wish. Or just be, like, unbelievably powerful. It could happen, though. Could happen. Not something we can cancel because of a few villains. Uh, I'm sorry, but why not? It's just the sports festival. How dare you? Now the Olympics have been drastically reduced in terms of scale and viewership. <laughs> For anyone who cares about competition, there's only one tournament that matters. This is where you get scouting. This is scouting, yeah. God, this is such an industry. If you want to go pro one day, then this event could open a path for you. One chance a year, three chances in a lifetime. No aspiring hero can afford to miss this festival. It's funny how heroism is just every industry. It's celebrity and it's sports. In season three, they're gonna have a dance off and it's gonna be music too. That means you better not slack off on your training. Yes, sir. Class is dismissed. I'm kind of surprised to hear Aizawa say that. You know, I wouldn't think he'd care so much about the sports festival, but I guess he's just keeping it real with them for their careers. I have to come up with a way to get noticed. Uh, sure. Maybe you should be looking at a shinier costume or something? Okay, this is sort of embarrassing to say it this late in the show after I finished the whole season. I don't actually know who she is. <laughs> I don't- I haven't, like, connected her invisible form to her non-invisible form. Is she the pink lady? The pink girl? Otherwise, you're gonna have to try really hard. I feel like invisibility is very noticeable. Out even when I'm standing still. Who are you again? <laughs> No doubt you'll make a scene too. I feel like they're destined to be together. Let's do our best in the sports festival. Raka, what happened to your face? Oh, she has a c competitive side. I'm gonna do my best! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <sighs> I said I'm gonna do my best! Got it. <laughs> okay. A little intimidating. For the money? You wanna be a hero so you can get rich? Oh, she's that in common with Bakugo. Not at all. Your goal I don't is think to it's a bad thing. Well -being, which is a perfectly admirable ambition to have. I agree. Thank you, Ida. My family owns a construction company, but we haven't gotten any work lately, so ah. I'm not broke. So it's not actually money, though. That's the thing. It's helping her family, which I feel like is a perfectly noble ambition. You want to work for us? <laughs> when I grow up all big and strong, I'll help you and mommy out any way that I can. <laughs> Cuteness overload. As your dad, I'd be even happier if you achieved your own dream. That's the way to make us happy. Wow. I really relate to this, actually, because I do a lot of things that, that focus on money. I do care about it quite a bit, but if it was just me, I wouldn't need it at all. Like, I'm capable of living very frugally and very bare bones. I wouldn't consider myself at all materialistic. But the reason I care about it so much is because I want to be able to do things that, that help people. Now, the thing is, I'm sort of aware that the people I want to help, you know, like, for example, my parents, they don't require that. They don't need that. And in fact, they would want me to prioritize my my own financial independence and my own well-being, which I do plan to do first anyway, because I feel like it's not a good idea to give if giving makes you weak. You know, you got to be strong first, then you help others. But I know that it's not even for them necessarily. It's for me. That's something that I want to do. And that's a goal that helps me. Even if I don't accomplish it, I feel good when I think about it and I feel good going for it. And I feel like it makes me stronger as a person to have that as a focus. You know, it's just, it's like with Erwin crossing shows all over the place here where he has this desire that is outwardly for others, but is really for himself. It's just, I would like to be able to think of myself as somebody who did that or is doing that. So I think for Uraraka, it would be a mistake to think that this is something that she must do, you know, or like this is her total responsibility or that without her doing this, her parents would be devastated because her parents wouldn't want that for her, you know, that 
would hurt them more than it would help them if she's doing all of this just for them. But I think as a motivation, there's something pure about it. Why not go for that? And you can tell her parents are in the same place. You know, the parents just want the best for her. That works. You know, I think as a system, if everyone's looking out for each other in that way, there's really nothing that can go wrong. That's a very strong web. It can only hurt you if you are doing what All Might does, where you help others at the cost of your own well-being. And if you do make money, you can take us to Hawaii or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really what she has in mind, but okay. And she's gonna find other things along the way, right? So noble, Sometimes you just need things to get you started. And the more you go down that path, the more you find other things that are maybe healthier or stronger or just additional to your, you know, your stated goal. You gotta start somewhere. Some hero fantasy. She's more grounded than any of us. <laughs> <laughs> There's risk for it too, but yeah, I like it. What are you doing here? Lunch. Do you want to eat with me? That's adorable! I feel like he needs a bigger lunchbox to sustain that massive body. <laughs> also, remember what Asui said on the bus? That power of yours, isn't it a lot like All Might? Oh no, this, it's it's out. It's gonna get out. So similar to each other, mm -hmm. it's possible that All Might's taken a liking to him. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, no, no, no. See, once the idea's out there, they're gonna put it together. It's just a matter of time. Minutes. Yeah. That's about how long oh, no. I can use my power now. Yeah, it took a huge toll on him. And you imagine it gets worse and worse because he has to exert himself harder each time because he has less time. I'm so sorry. I should have just... <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to apologize for anything. Man, we are alike, you and me. That's what I'm afraid of now, all of a sudden. The problem is you still can't fully control one for all yet. So then, what's your plan? Yeah, let's get back to training. How about that? We need to do private training. But my quirk could also very easily be used to kill. This was the very first time ever that I used my power against a person. Hmm. That's kind of dark. Like you succeeded in subconsciously putting on the brakes so you wouldn't have to kill anyone. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought it was like his power is unlocked or something when he's killing. How have I become so cynical? Hey, that's some kind of progress at least. I blame Attack on Titan. I don't have much time left as the world's symbol of peace. Soon I'll have to put that title to bed. Come on, do some training. Isn't there a beach that needs cleaning somewhere? Do you still feel the same way you did when we met? He's probably more convicted than ever. Time has come for you to prove it. This sports festival. <laughs> it's interesting that that's what it is. Izuku Midoriya. Those eyes, though. I want you to introduce yourself to the world and proudly say, I am here. Oh, wow. It's over. All Might has a really good eye for symbols. I think that's what makes it matter to him. Do do do. <laughs> what is this? This is uh very uh very lighthearted, very girl focused. Pink girl is not invisible girl after all. Who is it? Who is it? Have we ever seen her? Oh no, she's crying. Or she's uh she's being very serious. She's introspecting. I like this song. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Interesting. So there is a lot of recap today, but this episode does set up some exciting things. The sports tournament, I imagine it'll be very cool, but in some ways it feels a little bit low stakes compared to what we just experienced. It ties more heavily into the industry side of heroism than it does to the value side of heroism. <laughs> Although who knows, there's an opportunity for a lot of that too. There's an opportunity for that in sports, right? Or just in any, in any great endeavor. And as All Might seems to realize, there's a huge symbolic significance to the tournament. And symbols are are, are everything in this world, I guess, to the point where even villains are focused on that. Also in this episode, I'm glad that Uraraka is getting some development because she's just sort of been like around for a lot of the, the show so far, but she could potentially be a very interesting character. I actually really like her motivation. I think it's simple, but it's sweet. And I like her parents. <laughs> is that weird? Her parents are great. Seems like she was raised well. <laughs> so the show is clearly this, this duality in their lives between their academic careers and growing into themselves and adolescence and the outside world and villainy and larger societal stakes. So it'll be interesting to see what is parallel to the sports arc. Shigaraki is not gone. The villainy is not defeated. And I suspect there are threats from within the school. I feel like there's an insider. I'm also hoping and expecting to get a lot of the, the other characters too. There's some that we haven't gotten much of at all yet. So yeah, I'll see you next time for, I don't know if the tournament will begin yet, but something heartfelt will happen. <laughs>